Hello, welcome to another Lily bootleg review. This is Lily's Minecraft. We had that other brand, and now we have this brand. Yay, and DQ is also doing it as well. It's like, oh, no one's doing Minecraft. Oh, everyone's doing Minecraft now. And Shin Yang was already come up with a Minecraft set as well. That would be good, because uh, Minecraft doesn't really have back printing on the bodies. Hint, hint, Shin Yuan. Of course, you've got to make sure you do it a bit different than these guys. Uh, we have Steve, a bit of track, and a sheep. We have Pumpkin Head. For some reason, they think Pumpkin's a character. It's not. Uh, not as far as I know. Uh, we have White Suit Zombie. For some reason, normal zombie and a cow. Of course, White Suit Zombie does come with a uh, uh, fence and uh, some ore, redstone ore. Um, Skeleton, piggy, and a crafting box, and a torch. Skeleton, mushroom, and some web. Spider, and a cow, and no web for some reason. And, uh, and the dragon's head. Just the head. Um, <laughs> it's almost like a display piece where you buy a helmet of a superhero and just display that. That's one side of the box, which uh, does look pretty awesome when you put them all together and all the different colors going on. Oh, and here's the other side of the box. If you want to take a closer look at the box art, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. Oh. And, um... Oh, well, here's the top of the box. It's very similar design as the other brand to us. It's like they copied the not-so-good brand. And the back of the box. Mm. So, uh, let's see. Some of these parts do get a bit mixed up. Uh, all of these come with an instruction sheet inside instead of any collectible cards or anything which is totally fine because I don't really care about the collectible cards too much uh, so we got white suit zombie instructions on the back pumpkin head instructions on the back piggy skeleton and crafting box instructions on the back And these ones are instructions on both sides because there's a lot going on, I guess. Sweet. They come with uh, spider webs, but the spider webs don't come with the spider. Hmm. Let's go with. Uh, let's see. Let's go with spider first, uh, which is. Yep, just the spider. Uh, the spider and the uh, ender dragon head does come with a little display stand, which is good. And uh, since we have a spider here, let's get the official spider for comparison. Anyway, so here's the bootleg. You can see a bit of a gap there going on. Uh, as far as I can remember, it's pretty much the same. I do like the stage. Uh, they use an invisible torch piece there. And uh, it's actually a really good way to display a spider. Here's the official one. Let's put the heads together. You can see the... Uh, Face print is very similar, um, although the uh, the white print that they put underneath so that the red would stand out from the black plastic is a bit off center. Uh, see the bottom is pretty much yeah, this is pretty much the same. Uh, more matte, and the official one's more shiny. So that's that spider. Next set we have the Ender Dragon head. Here it is. Like I said, it has a little stage thing. Uh, the eyes are printed off center, so a bit too low and a bit covered up by the piece. Neck print, uh, lip print, you can see it, it's very badly. Like they didn't wait for the white paint to dry before printing the second layer, so it's all messed up. But overall, the actual build is still pretty good. I don't have the Ender Dragon anymore, I gave it to someone. So that's that. But you know, this stage thing is pretty not bad actually. Uh, if, you, if you pick up a Lily uh, Ender Dragon head that's not misprinted, it's it's not so bad. Okay. Well, next set we have uh, let's see round torture cow and zombie. Okay, so uh, zombie here with a uh, silver pickaxe, which is uh, very very spot on. Let's see. Let me just find a zombie. Well, and let's see silver pickaxe. They're both from the big. Uh, 
They're both on the big mine set. See, so here's pickaxe, it's the same size. Um, official one's a lot sharper and more shiny. As for the zombie itself, uh, it's pretty similar. Um, I'm going to put it right up to my own eyes to. Huh. Yeah, the leading one's very similar, it's just a bit more rough, and that's it. It's like completely accurate. I just put my zombie away, back in the mine. It also comes with a little cow, which, um, there's the official one, you can see the colour now, this one you can really tell the difference. There's black outlining, a lot thicker black outlining on the bootleg, and it's a lot more orange. But um, the rest of it's pretty similar. Again, the colours are accurate, uh, just a bit less shiny. So, well, well done, Lily. Uh, these two pieces. Oh, and of course, like I said, it also comes with a torch. And let's see, this one is... Yeah, remember one time, uh, one of these pieces, the plastic just wasn't enough there, and it's a bit dodgy. So, like, so. Yeah, this piece would definitely not come back out, it would definitely snap, so. Oops, Lily. There you go, well thank god the two transparent ones for the stages weren't affected. Next one we have Steve with a sheep and a track. So you got a track here, pretty simple, nothing too special, I'll just put that away because that's that's all you're seeing there. Uh, the sheep, sheepy sheepy, and Steve. Of course we're going to have to compare that. Uh, these both of these came with the farm set. This come with his Steve, you can see the face print is just darker, uh, but it's still pretty accurate. And but the pink there is a lot darker. Than, uh, yeah, everything's just a bit looks a bit darker. Uh, yeah, again, more matte official one. But uh, yeah, it's uh, very, very close indeed. Next one is okay. We've got the skeleton archer. Uh, mushroom, which I don't have anymore because I gave that away. Gave the I gave the crafting box and the ender dragon set away. So here's the mushroom. Here's the skeleton. Skeleton, of course, is completely wrong because it can't hold the uh, bow the right way up. It has the wrong hands, as you can see here. Although the bow is again very accurate. Uh, just yep. Yeah. Exactly the same, pretty much. These are good uh, replicas. And the mushroom is uh, printed pretty well. Um, I think it's, 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 a, it's a good, it's a good one. <laughs> I'll put that web next to the spider. There you go, skeleton. Okay, next we have another skeleton, another torch, a piggy, and a crafting box. So we have to compare those. So again, the skeleton is it's just I'm holding a uh, giant spade, which looks way bigger than what it should be. But it's again, it's printed okay for skeleton. Ah. Torch. It, this one's actually fine, so that's good. I'll put that in the other torch. And um, piggy and piggy. Yeah, I'm gonna tell pretty much which one's better. Uh, although I'm not a fan of the little white dots there to simulate a lighter colour. Bad Lego. Bad, bad, bad indeed. But yeah, the copy is very, very accurate. Oh yeah, and the uh, crafting box. Okay, here's the bootleg. And here's the official one. See, pretty similar. Uh, print is just slightly different size. And the top there you can see the molding injection dot in the middle and darker than the official. But, you know, if you don't have the official to compare it to, it's pretty damn accurate. Good. Next we have Pumpkin Head. 
uh, and one of the oars says green one and a web. So we're going to look at the web again, it's exactly the same, put that to the side, both these were good. We have the ore here, which is green, which did, I don't, there wasn't the green one, so wrong. And pumpkin head. And a wooden pickaxe. And of course for comparison, here's the uh, actual pumpkin. Orange is a bit deeper again and the print is more black so actually this one um, well this one uses brown that one uses black so it's a bit off uh, and the molding just line is way more obvious so oh whoops got the USB cable uh, for the light and finally we have another we have a creeper uh, creeper head uh, on a white body uh, let's get the natural creeper. Natural creeper. Uh, yeah, the printers. They just use black there. They didn't bother the uh, outlines and layers and stuff. It does come with silver bow and arrow, which is interesting, I guess. Red stone ore, which is okay. And the fence here, which is wrong, because uh, these studs here, on the, in the, even in the instruction manual, there's a little hole in the middle of the stud, so I can plug it into these dots right there just like the official fences but not here uh, they just don't have it so the fence is wrong so that sucks oh. I mean wow just wow look there's so many characters in this set even though you, there's only eight boxes you get so much going on here um, because some of these boxes have more than one sort of character instead of giving us pointless stages they gave us pieces that resemble stuff from the actual sets and instead of putting you know extra like collector's cards in there they actually put more budget into actual pieces the fence really sucks uh, well, these these two torches the colors are completely wrong so they kind of suck so these these suck but, uh, and uh, the old one it's not really a lime green one so I can put that out of the way but you know you got you got two spider webs you got some tracks you got a crafting box more red ore these two okay the head's a bit bad but and I mean the print is kind of bad but um, the actual pieces actually aren't bad uh, everything feels complete but if you ignore even this one as well, you just take this, this is still a good set, you know, you got all these accessories and you have all these characters, you pretty much, you get all the um, farm animals from all the big sets, even the Deku one that looks like it's going to come out doesn't have those, so uh, the, the all the animals here are actually really good, uh, they are a bit different from the official ones, but if you don't have the official ones next to it, they, they look good on their own. And uh, you, you actually get two skeleton warriors, uh, one zombie, a weird creeper. It's almost like the creeper died, went to heaven, so he's wearing a white suit. <laughs> a pumpkin guy is a bit weird, so creeper and pumpkin guy can sort of ignore, but they're interesting, I guess. You can just keep the heads. But the skeleton, the Steve, the zombie, and all the animals and the spider come together. It's just... Uh, this is a good set. This is Lily on one of his really good days. Uh, so hopefully, you, if you pick up a set, there's not that many printing issues like the dragon or the plastic issue, like that one torch. Um, so yeah, if you have official LEGO Minecraft, you definitely uh, feel, feel like you know it's a bit bare bones, like not many characters or animals. Uh, definitely pick this set up to populate your Minecraft set. Or just on their own, they're still pretty good. So yeah, um, better than I thought they were, they were going to be because the last few Lily sets were pretty bad, uh, let's be honest. So yeah, um, subscribe to Justin Carbillon, guys take care and have a nice day, bye.